Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and today I'm going to be showing you how I manage my ESP8266 smart home devices. So, let's get started. As of now, I have three ways to turn on and off my lamps. The first way is to use the Google Assistant. The second way is to use Amazon Alexa, and I will have a video coming soon on that. And the third way is by using an MQTT dashboard app. So today, I will be showing you how to set up and use an MQTT dashboard app with the MQTT smart lights that we have set up. So this is what an MQTT dashboard looks like. You have a bunch of switches or other types of control interfaces that you can use to control any MQTT device in your house. So right here, I can turn on and off one of my smart lights. So the app I will be using for this tutorial is called MQTT Dash, which I will have linked below in the description. Any other app should work fine for this tutorial, but I recommend that you use MQTT Dash if you have Android. So once you've downloaded MQTT Dash and have opened it, you will see a menu that looks something like this. I have already set up my smart lights, but I will show you how to set it up from scratch. So let's go back to the main menu of the application. In the top right of the screen, you can see that there is a plus icon and you can click it. Here we will need to add an MQTT broker, which is our Raspberry Pi. Right here, you can change the name to anything you want. And in the address section, you will need to type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, which is running Mosquito. And you can leave everything else as default. Now, we can add devices. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add the MQTT smart lamp that we created in a previous tutorial. But if you have any other MQTT devices, you can add them here as well. So we'll need to click the plus icon at the top right corner and a menu will pop up. For our smart light, we will need to click the switch option. Now we will need to name this device and in the topic section, we will need to type in the topic that we programmed the ESP8266 to listen to. Make sure to subscribe to this topic as well so the app reflects any changes in the light state from the Google Home. But we can leave the rest of the settings as their defaults and click save. Now we will see a checkbox that we can press to turn on and off the light. If this works, then you have successfully completed this tutorial. Leave your home automation suggestions as well as any other questions that you may have in the comment section below. That being said, that is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.